Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how to call the external REST APIs in Flask. Uh, in my previous video, I've shown how to set up Flask in Python and set up some basic paths and routes within uh, Python using Flask. Now, but in this case, we are gonna explicitly use uh, calling the get or the post method using the Flask uh, and uh, calling the external APIs. So let's not waste more time on to this. We know about the REST APIs and GET and POST and uh, we'll, we'll make those calls. And in case you have not seen my previous video, I'll post out the link within the description of this video so that you can see the uh, getting started with Flask. So friends, in my previous video, I've shown you how to set up a basic Flask version and uh, you could set up some path. I set up a hello world route, a basic route, just in order to demonstrate that. But now in this case, we are gonna use two things. One is the get method, means any API call, external API call within Flask through the get method. And the second is we'll also try to learn how to use uh, and make a post method out of that. Now, it is almost similar, like the get and post, they are typically the same in, it, um, uh, like same in almost all the languages whether you use node.js or anything it's just like most likely the syntax that would be changed so let's firstly see how we could uh, get started with the get method so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create another method let's say app dot route and we'll just simply say uh, test api or let's say get api so that's my route and uh, i'm just gonna create let's say uh, test get api method that's the method and what i'm gonna do is in order to call the request i need to import a package so i'll just use import request so that's the package which i need to import and uh, so there are a couple of things first is i'm just gonna define the api url uh, which is https and then I would just simply say JSON placeholder and dot tp code, uh, which is the one normally I've demonstrated using Node or other languages also. So dot com dot to do's and let's say one. Now that's my API URL, uh, which I've defined it. So it means I need to call this URL to actually get it and see the receive the response, how you get that. So I'll put it into a result when I will call that. So I'll say request, which is I'm imported that and I'll say get and I'll say API URL. So that's where I just make a call, pass on the URL and store the result into the uh, result. Or let's say we'll just store it into the response because that makes more sense logically. And then um, I would just simply say result is equal to response dot json so i just want to convert that object into a json object so which is perfectly fine and then and then what we can do is we can just return the result uh, object back as a response so now that looks fine let's go back and uh, let's try that one more time so python 3 and we'll say app.py. Now once it is there, it is running fine. The server is looks fine. So let's copy this again. And uh, you go back to the server and paste it over here. So this is the by default path, which we were running. But what we can do is we can just try out our new route that is test get API. So once you do that, so it automatically gives you one particular uh, what you call as record that we have fetched it now why it has given one record because if you see our so it is actually using our to do's and then it is getting through one so i'm just get passing on an id it's a totally arrest based api so you pass on the ipi the actual id for that so you get the details for that particular id 
Now, what if if there were multiple records and uh, we just need to, uh, let's say, retrieve those multiple records, but then uh, you would have to like either, you know, you are going to retrieve multiple records or one records specifically in this case. But uh, typically what you can do is rather than doing this. So let's say if you are passing on not one, but rather to do's, let's just give it a try and then uh, let's see whether it works or not okay let me just restart the server and then that looks fine let's go back and then if i just try to restart it okay so if you see it gives me all the records uh, which are there uh, for all the to do's so it means you get multiple records right so that's how you could actually define that so that definitely makes sense and i could just turn it back if you want like okay i don't want to do it for let's say slash two okay slash two means one particular record oops uh, we didn't restart the server so i can just restart the server only for a particular id which is two and i get that which is fine which makes sense because that's the id which is there now what if uh, we are going to do it with a post request now for the post request let's say we again create uh, app dot route and i'll just simply say slash test post api which is my route and then i'll just simply say dev test and the post api which is my method that's i'm gonna call the function now fundamentally i'm just gonna do the same thing um, i'm actually gonna use uh, what you call as the same api the typical one and then um, make a post request for um, creating like some kind of a dummy data so what i'll do is i'll just use let's say the api url over here uh, which is this one so i can just copy that and paste it out here now rather than two i just want to create a uh, to do's with the post request so what we can see we can need to create a kind of a i would say a dictionary out here whether uh, you would have a key value pair to just exactly pass that data so i'll say my to do is and i'll just create that so let's say user id is um, for example oops, it should be afterwards so it should be one and then i'm just gonna pass title uh, which is and if you could just go back and see so this is the id the title the user id and the completed you just need to pass the same thing uh, just in order to create one more right so we could copy this probably and then we'll just go back and then create it over here so that we know what we are passing so title is let's say uh, learn learning let's say flask with external apis and then i just need to pass on another one which is user id is already done uh, so i'll just pass on uh, for example the completed one right so completed is another one which i need to pass on and uh, once you pass on the completed you don't need that id because this id is a generated id that would be there once this particular post is successful so the id would be generated so let's say i'll just pass on a false over here which means uh, the this particular to do is still false and it still has to be completed okay so once i'm ready so what i can do is i can just say request dot post and the first thing i need to pass is api url and the second thing which i need to pass is json is equal to my to do so that's the data which i'm passing and once i am passed on uh, it would give me a font um, a kind of a response which is fine um, I just need to capture that response and finally uh, I need to print the response let's say uh, return uh, or let's say result is equal to response or JSON and then return result so that's what I resulted okay 
So this is how we are trying to kind of create a post request to the uh, typical API. So let's see that. Let's try because it looks fine. Let's try running it and test it. So my environment is running and this is the test post API, the route which I created. So I go back and then let's say, I'll just paste it over here. That is test post API. So once you do that, okay. So you immediately see it says completed, which is false id which is 201 so it's a 201 id that was created for us the user id is one we didn't pass out id over here you can check it out and then uh, if you see the id is never passed and id is one thing which is get generated but the title user id and the completed that's was passed by us uh, just in order to create that uh, we could also capture uh, let's say you want to capture out uh, uh, what we call as the status code or something like that so we could do that so what we can do so we can just go back so rather than as a json as a result object so i can just say uh, return response and then i'll just simply say status code so status code means uh, whether it is 201 or something like that whether we want to see so i'm just returning that so let's try running this and see whether this works or not. So once we run this, let's go back. Let's pass on, let's call this test API again. And it gives us an error. And the error uh, why it is giving is because uh, we are trying to get the status code out of the response. Now, this particular uh, response is not exactly what we are trying to send it back as a stream because it is not converted into string. So if I just convert it into a string, uh, this would potentially remove this error. And if I just run this, okay, which is fine. Let's go back. If you test the API, yes so you see 201 is the status code that was returned so perfectly fine because this was able to call the external api make a post request so i hope guys uh, this is a kind of a kickstarter help to you in order to get started with flask with python and you learned how to call those apis uh, whether it's a get request or a post request those are the two most uh, uh, request types that we normally make while calling to the external systems and how we could receive different information whether the object in the form of a json or a status codes or whatnot i'll be coming back with more videos so stay tuned and have a good one thank you